Hey, good morning. It's Mike Shunke with Berkshire Hathaway Homes and Shift Home Properties in Scottsdale, Arizona. Friday morning market chat uh, live on Instagram. Um, thanks for checking in. We're going to talk about residential. We're going to talk about commercial. And we're going to talk about the economy. We had a big jobs number this morning. So uh, we need to let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, first off, uh, inventory. Starting to get back there. We're, uh, we're getting back to normal. I had... Uh, 500 new uh, active listings in the MLS this morning. I had 230 new single-family detached homes in Maricopa County. In Scottsdale, we had another 29. Now, um, it's interesting. I do a four-mile radius hot sheet every morning. Uh, yesterday, I'm in the 85259 zip code by Oncala Country Club or uh, basis school, Scottsdale, or um, Mayo Clinic, and there are 14 new listings yesterday and 14 new listings this morning. So we're starting to see sellers come off the fence. You know, it's time. Everybody's been waiting kind of to see what we're happening, but we're heading into the busy season now. Uh, people are here. People are starting to look. People think Arizona is a beautiful place, and that's really why um, I'll touch base on that later on the commercial side, but we've really had an influx of people from out of state coming in and, you know, they're coming with cash. They're selling their houses in uh, Washington State, Illinois, and California. They're coming with cash. So uh, interest rates aren't really bothering them that much. It's more of a lifestyle here in Arizona. But uh, anyway, um, sellers are getting back. They're, they're ready to sell now. So uh, we're getting busier. I'm not going to lie. It's been Number of transactions has been a little slow, but I feel like there's this pent up, you know, demand on the buy side and sellers finally saying, okay, let's, let's make this happen. So, uh, again, a lot, of, I, I am hearing us waiting for the election more on the commercial side, but you know, we have an election every four years. Is that really going to change your everyday activities? What you want to do, you know? Some of you know, I spent 2015 in a wheelchair. I was told I would never walk again. Thankfully, we got beyond that and walk every day now. Walk, run, bike, hike, uh, everything. Uh, but that really taught me, you know, let's, you don't wait. You know, tomorrow's never promised. So, you know, let's just get it done. I guess you'd say I'm the, the opposite of a uh, procrastinator. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, and also, you know, we're seeing a lot of things happen off market. Uh, we've got a few ourselves coming uh, coming up. There's one by the Scottsdale Golf Club, one out by the Sonora. Sonora. And a client called me yesterday to see if I've ever done a house swap. Uh, I have not. But, you know, let's look into it. Let's see if we can make it happen. They, uh, they're in Arizona. It's beautiful. Just under a million dollar range. They're looking to swap with somebody up in Washington State, up in the, the, the Samish Islands area. So... Let me know. You know, I, like I said, I never know, but it's not impossible. And we've we've seen weirder, uh, had weirder requests. So, see if you've got a house in the Samish Samish Islands in Washington, give us a call. Uh, just under a million dollars, um, might be able to figure out something there. So anyway, and that's what we do. We we figure out problems. So uh, anyway, residential's getting there. You know, starting to see some. There are some deals. Sellers, everybody wants their Zillow number. Watch it. They watch HGTV and everybody thinks they're sitting on a castle. And, you know, I will say we've walked from away from quite a few listings this year because it doesn't do me any good to list your house for an excessive amount and it doesn't do you any good. And then you just think I suck at my job. But I don't know if I should say that. But, uh, you know, it's it's we really got to hit the price right out of the gate. And, you know, it's run the comps, see what's out there. But actually, where I was going with that, Zillow's are starting to get realistic now. They're coming on. There's some deals out there. They're priced right, and they're moving. So, uh, you know, you really got to have that, that local knowledge and the individual personalization to price your house right. Uh, so, uh, anyway, uh, we're starting to see inventory come back, and that's good. As inventory comes back, we're going to start seeing more transactions like I said, people, life happens, people move, uh, death, divorce, new jobs, downsizing, upsizing. It's a lot of equity out there. I think, yeah, 42% of mortgages out there or houses out there do not have a mortgage on them. So there's, there's equity. There's people are moving. So anyway, that's it on the residential side. We commercial, we had a great conference, went to a great conference. It was REN TV. 
uh, State of the Market Conference, uh, an event. It was the first annual event. They're a company out of California. It was the first one in Phoenix. I want to thank Berlitz George's, uh, George's uh, with Wesley Capital for inviting me to that. Uh, he is a lot like us. He thinks out of the box. What do we got to do to make this deal happen? And, you know, kind of the overall feeling I got. It's a commercial. Um, you know, they had four or five different panels speak. One on multifamily, one on office, one on retail, industrial. And then Berlitz actually spoke on the finance department and did a real good job. And a lot of the commercial aid brokers, they're hearing that people are waiting to see where the election goes, what are interest rates going to do, and, you know, somebody uh, who was a Chris Hollenbach, I think, with, uh, he, he said, you know, the smart money is buying, the scared money is selling, and the patient money will be rewarded on the commercial end. Retail is super hot. Retail is hot again. They just... You know, industrial's been hot the past few years in the Phoenix area just because of the data centers and the warehousing, the Phoenix location with I-11 going through from Mexico uh, to Canada. Uh, so Phoenix is an attractive uh, location for the industrial. But they've built a lot of industrial, so that vacancy rate has gone up a little bit just because they're building it. On the retail side... The vacancy rate is tight. That's not coming down, especially small strip, ball, strip malls anchored with a uh, restaurant. Um, those are super hot. They're hard to come by. A lot of those were owned by mom and pop investors. And, uh, you know, now a lot of the corporate money, private money is itching to get in this market. Banks aren't lending a whole lot on the commercial side. Remember, it's not all about rates. It's access to the funds. But... Um, on the commercial end, you know, that's, there's a lot of private money out there. If there's a deal, you can get money. And uh, give us a call. We, uh, Berlitz is awesome. Again, you know, doing, uh, we, uh, we hope to do a lot of business with them in the future. Just thinking out of the box, how can we structure this financing or this deal to get this building bought or sold? And, uh, you know, that's, that's my favorite part of the job is just figuring things out. But, uh, yeah, office, return to office. You know, you'll see the office headlines that office is hurting. And office is slow, but the, like the panel mentioned, it's more of they're going, everybody wants to get this. The big news is return to office uh, for employees. But our employees are pushing back a little bit. So not really seeing the, those offices fill up like they expected. But what they want is smaller satellite offices so that's hot and that's actually what we've been working on a lot uh, with medical professionals and dentists and small business owners uh, putting that program together we did a lot of work on it this week of why you want to own the real estate that you're in especially a small you know a doctor surrounding the hospitals you want to have your private practice doctor or dentist you want to own the real estate so eventually you're going to get tired of practicing you want to sell the business if you've got the building in place, it really adds value to your, to your book, of, uh, book of business. So insurance companies, any small business insurance companies, did I just say that? Um, doctors, anybody who has a small business, if you can own the, biz the building that you're in, it really, uh, really makes sense in the long run and helps out with your exit strategy and gives you something to pass along. Murphy at AMOZ, I know I talk about him all the time, was just talking about it the other day. He's got this building now. He's got this asset. Bought it for just over $5 million. It's probably worth 8 or 9 now. And uh, he's got this asset for his family for generations, generations, generations. Going to produce income. So, you know, it's that. I still go back to that. That was, a, that was a smart move. It was a difficult deal. It definitely had a lot of moving parts, uh, third-party servicing. But, again, that's what we go back to. There's a solution to every problem. So, uh Commercial, they expect to pick up again. And, you know, the general consensus was Phoenix is a, Arizona is a business-friendly state. Uh, tax, low taxes, lower employment expenses. It's just an attractive, and biz, attractive business environment. So that's why a lot of companies are coming here. So it's, uh, we expect commercial to pick up and there's uh, a lot of growth in the commercial end, which, you know, then also we'll have the housing too, so. Employees need a place to live. Um, what else we got? Uh, economy. We had a really positive jobs number this morning. Um, higher than expected. Highest as it's been in a while. Uh, low unemployment. Wages up 4% uh, from last year. Um, now, 
remember, some of you know, or I've mentioned before, I worked on the Board of Trade. It was my first job out of college. And unemployment number was always the number one data. You could not take, miss that day. And it was actually the most fun. As soon as that number comes up, you're jumping up buying and selling and the numbers, that was always the most fun day. So unemployment's a big, a big data number in the economic world. Um, now, but do remember that there is some subjectivity in there. The numbers are past. They show where we've been, not where we're going. Chairman Powell came out earlier this week and he said, you know, we're, we're not in any hurry to lower rates. They, uh, he said, maybe we'll have two 25 basis point cuts over the next year. Uh, but also remember, they cut the Fed funds rate uh, about a month ago. Rates are about a half a percent higher. They cut them by 50 basis points, but rates are about half, half a percent, 50 basis points higher than they were a month ago. And that's all based on expected future value. Uh, the, everything's built into the market and you can't time the rates. Really, when you're, when you're trading or investing, you are, you're really estimating what the market is thinking. So because the market trades off of, you know, the economy, the data numbers, and even though that employment number, I'm not so sure about, especially with the revisions and we're hearing a lot of number, large number of layoffs. So I don't know how confident I am in that jobs report, but it's a data number that we have to take into account and, uh, and make trades off of. So, you know, the economy, it's, it's rolling along. That's, you know, how do you say? Businesses are making money. Restaurants, uh, restaurant employment was high. Construction employment was, was up again. So we got to watch those numbers. You know, I think the individual is a little tight. Individual, things are expensive. Inflation is here. And that's what the Fed wants to pay attention to. They want to make sure that we don't start shooting up again with all that free government money that everybody got and uh, shot up uh, shot up inflation. Um, so, you know, it's if you want something, you got to work for it. Nothing's free in this world. Anyway, it's all that is noise. My job is to take emotion out of your real estate transaction and get you where you need to be. Um, you know, there's a solution to everything. So residential, commercial, land, investment properties, we do a little bit of everything and that just makes us better. You know, the commercial deals can get pretty complicated. So when we go to a residential deal, either buying or selling, it's really easy for us to think out of the box and think of a different way than Joe Blow agent down the street who's just going to put your property on MLS or send you properties from realtor.com. Anybody can do that. We think out of the box. We, you know, peck and search, look for homes that are coming on the market and, um, and commercial homes, residential land. We look at things that are off market because that's, uh, that's really where the business happens these days. So anyway, give us a call. We've got to run to New York tonight, actually. Uh, Connecticut, it's right on the New York, Connecticut border. Help mom and dad out for a few days. So maybe we'll do a live back there. I'm, I'm always interested. I'm from Connecticut. I grew up there and, uh, been in Arizona 10 years, so it's always interesting to see what that real estate market's doing. So maybe we'll do a live from back there, uh, <laughs> compare taxes again, So which are outrageous in some states, not in Arizona. That's always fun to look at. Uh, but yeah, we've got to run there this weekend, but we're around, you know, like I said, we, if this phone, my phone is always in my hand or in my pocket, I answer it 97% of the time. So give me a call, 203-733-5877. Quick conversation. No, I'd rather have a quick conversation than 17 texts back and forth and get it done. And it's really about relationships. That was another thing in the lending for the commercial that uh, Burletts of Wesley Capital pointed out. They're not necessarily just lending to anybody. They're lending on relationships. So as your broker has more relationships and you've done more business with them, they're more likely to open up their books and lend money on those investment properties. So it's like any business, it's all about relationships. And that's why we do this live. So you can get to know me a little better. Everything, you know, a lot of stuff you see on the internet is polished and refined, but life isn't always polished and refined. So we hope you get to know us. We'd love to get to know you. Give us a call, 203-733-5877. We're here to help wherever we can. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Be smart, be safe, and um, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it.